mga ka YouTube. Hi to my subscribers. Today's vlog is about Hong Kong pasalubong or food souvenir shopping. Our first stop is 759 store. We are in front of the 759 store here in Punto. In 759, na pangalan nila is a stock code sa Hong Kong Exchange. Sakto, look at her. Namili siya ng kanyang mga ipapasalubong. Oh, they also have frozen items here. And yeah, some of these are from Korea, Japan, Taiwan. Ito yung mga Japanese chocolates. Yan na. Ah, ay, mga dark chocolate. Meiji. So what are the prices? $25.90. Actually, yung mga prices dito, some are cheap, some are ganun din. Ang key when you're buying dito sa Hong Kong, dapat more or less alam mo yung price talaga sa regular supermarket or sa iba pang cheaper options. So, wag agad excited. Our second stop is Foodville. Magaling, magaling, magaling. Uy! Welcome to Foodville. As you will see, there is 360 written under Foodville. 360 is another store and is a sibling of Foodville. Foodville aims to connect food and the ville or the village. And they are committed to sourcing food and wine from all over the world. the selection of wines in the store. I really don't know if this is a group brand but definitely it's reasonably priced. For two pieces, you get it for only $66. Hong Kong dollars, I mean, so that's $33 each. They have a good selection of coffee which you can also bring home to friends. I mean, when you leave Hong Kong, you know? Here, unlike 759, where most of the items come from Asia, you can you can source everything here coming from different parts of the world. Aside from that, they also have a good assortment of tea there. If your friends or you are like a tea drinker, you can buy tea here. And we enjoy shopping here for frozen items. Oh, but now there's no more. You know why? There's practically no more food because we just had a very big typhoon. And Hong Kong people, when there's typhoon, they panic, they hoard, they hoard the uh, food. It's really a pleasure to go around the store because you get to discover different things, different brands. We're going out now. You don't have to be a member to buy from this store. But if you are a member, you get to enjoy good discounts. Uh, both here in Foodville and in 360. Yeah, the dog is saying, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, bye. The next day. Mga kabayan, nandito tayo sa isang mall dito sa Hong Kong. We go to our foreigner friends. We are now inside the mall and let's see if we can find those convenience stores that sell souvenir food stuff here in Hong Kong. Oh, I found one already. Okay. Our third stop is 360 Best Mart. We are now in front of 360 Best Mart. This is one of the famous uh, convenience stores here in Hong Kong. People come here because of the low-priced items. And very good selections. Okay, then check this out. This store is not so big. Actually, 360 stores are not that big. But they have a good variety of items also inside. The typical would be 
the floors, the drinks, the confectionaries, the nuts. And if you have time, really, you can compare prices from these convenience stores that I showed you. But check this out. We always like buying these because they are on sale. For instance, it's originally priced at 823 but if you're buying it for 2 it will be 100 So that's $50 for 2 items. That's a good bargain, isn't it? Sometimes though, you have to check talaga the prices because that prices also vary. And when you get some discounted items, no? the, the best thing to do, like this one, it's like $12.50. You have to also check the expiry date to make sure the reason why it's on sale is that it's not near expiry. So this one is in 2024. It's a good buy then. Goodbye. So now let's goodbye. We go to other stores. Our fourth stop, DS Groceries. We found another store and this is the... Uy! It's <laughs> Okay, found another store and this is the DS Groceries. What is DS? DS means Daisang. Daisang is the name of the company which owns this store or several store branches. So Daisang Company Limited. What you have here are mostly the same as what you will find in the other stores that I showed you earlier. But then again, there would be different varieties. And there would be like different price points also. Whatever is closest to your place, then you try it out. Just for you. So mga kabayan, kung anong malapit sa inyo, pasok lang! Come on! <laughs> now I like this Godiva blood orange dark chocolate I think this is the first time I saw this and I like this I'm going to buy this but because I'm coughing cough season ngayon eh, and my voice is like different because of that I'll just buy one kunyari lang titipid <laughs> Wait, ito kakaiba. Ay, hindi, meron na pala. Ibang packaging, oh. oh. Yun ang maganda. When you do pa sa lubong shopping, you can look for other things or snacks that are not common in the country where you're coming from. Oh, may bago ng bar yan. Ito, masarap to. Kaso puro chocolate, di ba? Ay, yeah. gusto ko rin bilhin. Ang oh, dami natin chocolate sa bahay, ah. <laughs> May umaangang. Ah, Sharon, no? The dryer's ice cream are cheaper here. It's only $38. That's the cheapest that we've seen the dry... Dryers ba? Dryers? Hindi ko alam. Baka yung dryer, yung sa washing machine at sa dryer, no? So, ito, dryers. May yes, ba? Oh, meron. This one is also nice. Uh, pasalubong for... For your friends. Unique siya dito sa Hong Kong. So, this is made in Macau. There. Only $25. Like the other store na DS Groceries din sa Hang Hao, meron din tong Chinese section. So, kung feeling mo, ay, dyan ako pupunta. Eh, hindi authentic na mga Hong Kong items yan. Meron ang DS stores. I'm amazed, no? Lahat pala ng shop when maybe mga ibang DS groceries na, na um, branches na madilit baka wala. Pero this one is in Polam. The other one I went to was in Hang Hao. Consistent. Meron sila. Yan. Mga Chinese food stuff. Oh, ayan. Nakita ko nga. Nakita ko. Kita mo ba? Yeah. <laughs> May 759 dito sa mall. ba? Sabi ko kanina. Ay, hindi kanina. The other day. <laughs> Some 759 stores are inside the mall. So, there's, this is an example of that. Our last stop, Price Mart. The store is like, I don't know. It's not so appealing. I just don't know with other branches, but... It is not as colorful and appealing as the other convenience stores with it. 
So, ayan. Let's explore what's here. Ah, check out the, like, the Chinese type of desserts or snacks. This one, as I told you earlier, is a good buy. But this is a little bit expensive than the ones in the stores. And it's the only aisle for, like, the section for Chinese items. Right? And it's in between the other stuff. You can also have, uh... This is my favorite chocolate bounty. And this is cheaper here. Yeah. In DS, this is $20. So here is $16. I don't know if you can see it, but the expiry is still in 2024, September 23. They also have uh, different kinds of um, biscuits I haven't seen in other stores. Now, look at this. These are Chinese Hong Kong style cow style uh, snacks no? but they are tucked in with other cookies and snacks unlike those in the DS medyo mas organized yeah. so if you have the luxury to explore the prices why not but if you're really just rushing to buy stuff then the stores that I showed you earlier stores that are in this vlog are those that are worth visiting. I guess we have to go now. So this concludes my vlog on souvenir shopping for food stuff here in Hong Kong. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you're new to my channel... But wait, there's more! Kung ang hanap mo ay Hong Kong cookies, Hong Kong snacks, ito ang dapat mo talagang puntahan. Ay, hindi yung payong na yan, ha? Tatago tayo ng konti. Ayan. Yan. Kiwa Bakery. Nung unang panahon, hindi pa yan ganyan. Wala pa silang mga ganitong stores. Para naman nung unang panahon, nung patabatan man. <laughs> mga 10 years ago siguro, or 15 years ago. So, before they just have a small uh, kiosk or what, ngayon they're all over Hong Kong. Kasi, tried and tested ang kanilang mga cookies. And, they're really good. So if you want authentic Hong Kong snack souvenirs, you can check also the Kiwa Bakery. It's highly recommended. So let's go inside and see what you can uh, buy from this store. So they have an assortment of cookies. It's, look at this. This is so cute. Winter Melon Wife Cake. <laughs> Pang wife ba? Yan. Ito, mga naka-open na mga cookies. So, you will have an idea of what are in this containers. Cute din yung mga containers nila. Nag-evolve now. Imagine, $45 for a Mickey, uh, Mickey container. Let's see what's inside. O, di ba ang saya? Isang cookie <laughs> for $45. Well, cute naman kung talaga namang pati yung lalagyan is a good souvenir, no? Then, of course, you have some other Disney characters and they have um, mooncake still ah, all year round mooncake pwede okay ayan sa totoo lang masarap tong mga to you can buy but sometimes people don't just buy this packaging kasi masisira sa maleta mo maduduro space to really buy something inside a case like that one is so nicely packed and it's so hong kong feel look at that and this one oh big time i like it yeah these are all good stuff and i really enjoyed uh cookies or cakes that i buy here they have evolved really. Oh, may ganyan pa. Yan ang nagpapahamal. Oh, piglet treat. Huh? This in itself is actually an experience for a tourist, no? Coming here, looking at the packaging, and the prices are reasonable. If you find this store in the airport, the prices are more expensive. If you get the chance to look around at this um, store in the malls where you are near at this point or in your hotel, nearby your hotel, 
check this out thank you kiwa it is really a nice experience here in hong kong if you try any food stuff here in kiwa store and mind you the prices are not that expensive compared with other uh, bakery where you will find this food stuff Ito na talaga, totoo na to. we're ending this vlog with Kiwa Store in the background and thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe.